Good afternoon friends. Welcome to the session of electrodialysis. The material of study was prepared by Prof. Asma Tadgar of SDM College of Engineering and Technology, Dharwad and it has been narrated by me. Uh, so, before understanding the concept of electrodialysis, we need to have an idea of what exactly is dialysis. Guys, dialysis is a phenomena, a word which you commonly hear in medical terminology. There is dialysis going on for a patient suffering from a kidney ailment. So what exactly is the technical definition for dialysis? Dialysis refers to separation of suspended colloidal particles from dissolved ions or molecules of small dimension by means of their unequal rates of diffusion through pores of semi-permeable membrane. It is a quite technical definition and can be understood by a very simple phenomenon. Guys, in filtration, you know that when you add a particular material on a filter paper, the filter paper will allow only the smaller particles to flow through it and the suspended material stays on the filter paper. In case of dialysis, we are going to use something called as a dialyzer in place of a filter paper. A dialyzer is a semi-permeable membrane which will allow the ions or smaller particles to pass through it whereas the colloidal particles will remain in the membrane itself. So this phenomenon of dialysis was first employed in the year 1861 by British chemist Thomas Graham. As I said in the beginning, dialysis is a common phenomenon observed in our kidneys. The kidneys filter our blood by removing the waste and excess fluid from the body. This waste is sent to the bladder and eliminated when you urinate. Now moving on to the concept of electrodialysis, when you carry out a dialysis which happens to be a slow phenomena but the rate of which can be accelerated increased by heating or by applying an electric field. So when you apply an electric field to the dialysis, the phenomena is called as electrodialysis. So in electrodialysis, again, it is a membrane process during which Ions are transported through a semi-permeable membrane under the influence of electric potential or in the presence of respective electrodes. Now how does this phenomena take place and what are the membranes present in the electrodialysis? In electrodialysis we come across two types of membranes which are specific to certain type of ions and those membranes are the cation or anion selective membrane which basically means either the positive ions that is cations or the negative ions that is the anions flow through them neither the both. So a cation selective membrane are poly electrolytes with negatively charged matter. So because the cation selective membrane is a negatively charged matter it will repel or reject the negative ion and allow only the positive ion to flow through it. Similar is the case observed in case of an anion selective membrane where it is a poly electrolyte with positively charged matter. So this positively charged matter rejects the positive ions and allow only the negatively charged ions or anions to flow through it. So what are these cation and anion selective membranes made up of? A cation selective membrane consists of sulfonated polystyrene which is a polymer whereas an anion selective membrane consists of a polystyrene with quaternary ammonium salt. So this quaternary ammonium salt being positively charged, it will repel the positively charged ion and allow only the negatively charged ion to flow through it. Sometimes, in order to carry out the phenomenon of electrodialysis, we require a certain pretreatment. That means, before carrying out the phenomenon of electrodialysis, we need to treat that water sample. And what is that? We have to remove the suspended solid material or matter with the diameter of 10 micron by a simple phenomena of filtration. Substances that are able to neutralize the membrane like that of organic anions, collides, iron oxides, manganese oxides and dyes in many cases are to be removed or else the membranes get tarnished. So these pretreatment methods which aid the prevention of these effects on the active carbon filtration that is for organic matter, flocculation that is for collides and filtration techniques. I'll repeat this. The pretreatment methods include carbon filtration. That means using uh, activated charcoal or activated carbon, you can remove all the organic dyes present in the water. Using the phenomena of flocculation in common terms called as coagulation, that is by adding a coagulating agent. 
by adding an electrolyte you can remove all the colloidal matter in the form of a precipitate in the form of a solid and by a phenomena of filtration the suspended material or the substances which have got the particle size greater than 1 micron can be removed. So these are the pretreatment methods. Once the water is pretreated, then we carry out the phenomena of electrodialysis. Now this is the diagrammatic display of the electrodialysis phenomena wherein the saline water or the water to be treated is passed into the electrodialyzer which contains a negative pole and a positive pole of a DC current and we have got membranes over here. The red marking indicating the uh, carbon selective membrane or cation sorry it's cation selective membrane and the uh, gray marking over here is an anion selective membrane. So when the saline water is fed into it the cations passed through the cation selective membrane okay and the anions pass through the anion selective membrane. So this area it contains both cation and anion because the anions come from this grey region and the cation come from this red region. So the water which is left out over here is free from ions and that is called as the fresh water whereas the concentrated brine, brine is saturated solution of sodium chloride is left out. So this is the diagrammatic understanding of electrodialysis. Now let me just show you a clip to show the virtual working of how an electrodialysis takes place. So this is the incoming water supply which contains the cations and anions into this. We have got the electrodes now, the positive and the negative electrode. So definitely the anions are attracted towards the positive electrode and the cations are attracted towards the negative electrode. Now when we have got layered arrangement of membranes, the red indicating the cation selective membrane and the grey indicating the anion selective, you can see the anions coming out over here and the cations coming out and we are left out with the portable that is usable drinking water. So this was the concept of electrodialysis. Thank you. Good luck.